What's up, Gunas? Arsenal versus Liverpool. And you know what? I'm deep in thought, man, because we have a chance to do something against Liverpool at Anfield, a place that's never really favoured us in any way, shape or form. We've had some of our worst results at Anfield. And even in the days of Ian Rush or Fowler, it, we just have always died at Anfield. Yes, we've had some good luck there with Podolski and Kozola giving us an amazing shape and consistency on the counter-attack. The man of the match that day was Abu Diaby, who bossed the midfield Vieira style. And that's what it's going to take to get a result from Anfield this weekend. Now, first off the bat, let's cover off the team itself. Pepe is looking to make his first start of the season. That is now, with the trio of Aubameyang, Lacazette and Pepe, 184 million strike force. Higher than Liverpool. Higher than the current crop of Liverpool players that they have there now. This is a serious strike force and Liverpool will be under pressure. There's no doubt about that. Where the problem's been for Arsenal though is ball possession. The passing has been erratic at best. Teams with a great movement on pressing can exploit that and have done over the years which is the reason why we've really had a result against Man City or Liverpool of late but here's the difference we actually have some players now that can make a difference in the midfield like Wendozi and Sabalos and we actually have some players that can defend like Luis and Socrates so there's a few things that's going to happen here guys in order for us to have success David Luiz is going to have to catch Liverpool out on the high press because the Liverpool back line comes way up to the halfway line so that they can get their pressing on. And once Liverpool wins the ball up high, that's where they're the most dangerous. For Arsenal, what they have to do is play the ball out from the back quicker. One or two touch passing will put Liverpool on the back foot. It will make them overcommit and it will give Arsenal a chance to spring them on the back end. David Luiz has the passing ability to do that. Guendouzi and Sabalos has the ball retention and passing accuracy to not give the ball away. Those are reasons why Arsenal could be successful. Also, when you look at Alexander for Liverpool, we can expose that left side because on the right, as a right back, he comes way past the halfway line and was caught out many times against Norwich. Obviously, Norwich wasn't good enough to expose that. But if you do look at the footage, he has been caught five or six times, way up the pitch, sometimes even central, nowhere near where he's supposed to be at a right back. So Arsenal can really expose that. If they break quick and th they can spot some passing lanes, they can really put Liverpool under pressure on the back foot and punish them in the ways that other teams haven't. Had Norwich had a little bit more quality up front, it would have really put Liverpool under pressure. And I think that this is something that Arsenal can use against Liverpool that they haven't really had before. So for us really, it's about protecting that deep spot as well. So when Liverpool break, our centre-backs have to spot those potential dangers and get out there early so that these through balls don't put Arsenal under pressure. I'm not going to say it's easy, I'm just going to say that we can handle it. So can we beat Liverpool? I would say a draw would be a great result for us. Somewhere around a 2-2 draw would be a fantastic result. But I think this team has the ability to win. And let's be clear, nobody has seen this Arsenal team play at full strength. Yeah? Nobody has seen that front three play with Pepe on a consistent level. And even if something was to happen where he got tired or he got gassed and has to come off, we've got players that can go in there and cover him. And we can also head to rear it in as an extra midfield player. But there are a lot of things that we can do to safeguard Liverpool's attack. But I'm really interested to see how this game turns out. On the Arsenal front, Emery has come out again and said that Mustafi and El Nene have to go and find another team. They're dragging their feet because they want to hang around. They like the money they're getting paid. 
but at the same time, both of those players are not going to play a lick this season. Unless something drastically happens on the injury front, both players will be completely non-factors. They won't even be dressing up on the bench. So, guys, in that respect, I think that we're going to have a good chance tomorrow. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. It'd be interesting to see what you guys think about the game. But I think we got a chance. But that's it for me. That's Arsenal versus Liverpool preview. And I'll touch base with you guys soon. Right back at you, man. Peace out.